Hello, and welcome back to Antiquities Engagements. In today's episode, we're revisiting an overlooked clash that defined the post-Alexander world, the Battle of Ipsus in 301 BC. This monumental conflict between his warring successors shaped the Hellenistic age to come. I'll set the stage, profile the leaders and armies, recreate the battle, and analyze its historical impact. This pivotal ancient showdown carved up an empire and changed Mediterranean power dynamics for centuries. So stick around as we bring the Battle of Ipsus back to life. After Alexander the Great's sudden death in 323 BC at just 32 years old, his vast empire splintered as his generals or Daidochi fought for the spoils. For over 20 years they waged devastating wars against each other. One successor, Antigonus, or One-Eye, became the dominant power by 301 BC. From his base in Asia Minor, he had defeated rivals from Greece to Babylon. Now in his 80s, Antigonus dreamed of reuniting Alexander's empire under his rule. But other crafty Diadochi like Ptolemy in Egypt and Seleucus in Mesopotamia checked his ambitions. Antigonus soon turned his sights on Lysimachus in Thrace and Seleucus in Babylon, threatening their domains. So an alliance was formed between Lysimachus, Seleucus, and Cassander of Macedon. In 301 BC, these rivals gathered their armies near Ipsus and Phrygia for a final reckoning with the seemingly unstoppable Antigonus. The fate of Alexander's empire hung in the balance. On the dusty plains of an obscure town, the future of the Hellenistic Age would be decided. Antigonus the One-Eyed was a brilliant but ruthless general in his 80s with unmatched experience. His son Demetrius, known as the Besieger of Cities, led the elite cavalry. The Antigonids fielded an enormous force of over 70,000 infantry and 10,000 cavalry. Many of those were veterans from Alexander's day. Their secret weapon was terrifying Indian war elephants. Now opposing them, the allies, were led by Lysimachus and Seleucus. Lysimachus had ruled Thrace for decades, while Seleucus had seized Babylon and its eastern satrapies. Though smaller in number, the allies had over 400 elephants from Seleucus' domains, dwarfing Antigonus' 75 beasts. The allies also had battle-hardened phalanxes and mercenary forces, and this would be the largest clash to date between Alexander's feuding generals. On the plains of Ipsus, Antigonus anchored his forces on the high ground. His phalanx held the center with cavalry and on the wings with elephants up front. The allies positioned their infantry behind the elephants to minimize losses. Their cavalry lined up opposite of the Antigonids. At the start, Antigonus' pachyderms charged, but arrows and javelins disrupted their attack. Then Demetrius led the famed Antigonid cavalry, overwhelming the allied horsemen. But Demetrius pursued too far, finding his return blocked by dozens of elephants. This brilliant trap isolated him from the battle. With their cavalry gone, the Antigonid phalanxes were exposed and began defecting to the allies. Antigonus fought bravely amidst the chaos, trying desperately to rally his troops. However, there was no coming back from this perilous position, and he died with honor on the battlefield defending Alexander's vision. By sunset, the Antigonid army was wrecked. The Allies had won the day through superior elephants and cunning tactics. Although Demetrius did escape, the Antigonids' hopes of reuniting Alexander's empire died that day, and their territories were divided by the victors. This climactic battle ended the Diadochi Wars, and now separate Greek-style kingdoms under Ptolemy, Seleucus, and Lysimachus emerged fighting for dominance. The political framework of the Hellenistic Age took shape after Ipsus. Seleucus became the ruler of the vast Middle Eastern Empire, and Greek culture spread around the Mediterranean as far as India. Some historians believe Antigonus could have restored Alexander's empire if he wanted Ipsus. But instead, this turning point sealed the fragmentation of the ancient world for centuries to come. So remember the pivotal battle of Ipsus, where ambition collided with alliance, elephants clashed with cavalry, and an emperor's death ensured the division of his realm. Thanks for watching this ancient episode of Antiquities Engagements.